welcome back to Hanski Kids channel We're going to play and learn with Miss Yuyu Okay, today I'm going to read a bedtime story for you Kali ini Miss Yuyu akan membacakan buku sebelum tidur Tapi dalam bahasa Inggris ya, kalian siap? Okay, are you ready? Let's start My Secret Scrapbook Diary Little Red Riding Hood by Kiss More Big Dear Diary Granny is not feeling well Mother and I baked her a big sweet cake And I'm going to take it to her house My granny loves cake Mother says Don't talk to strangers and go straight there. Hmm, as if I'm a baby. I love Granny very much. She once made a red outfit for me. It's so great. I always wear it. Everybody calls me Red Riding Hood now. By the way, Granny also loves flowers and stuff. This is me and my granny. And this is how to go to granny's house. To the left, to the right, to the right, to the left, and then done. On the way to Granny's, I just met a big wolf. Out walking, sugar, he asked. Hmm, my name is not sugar, I said. I'm Red Riding Hood, and I'm taking this big sweet cake to my granny. The wolf said, hmm. Wouldn't it be cool to pick some flowers and stuff for Granny? Hmm, that was a great idea. <gasps> Seems Little Red Riding Hood forget her mom's said that she cannot talk to the strangers. After the big wolf went away, I met Mr. Woodman. He told me to be careful because the big wolf was around. Okay, no problem, I said. I just saw him and he went that way. <gasps> But that's to your granny's house. Mr. Woodman said, Quickly, let's go! We found out later that the big wolf had climbed through Granny's window. Then he locked her up in the wardrobe. Oh, poor Granny! He squeezed into Granny's dress and put on her glasses. And then he climbed into her bed. This is a drawing of Mr. Woodman and me at Granny's house. I knock on the door. Come in, sugar, said the wolf in a high voice. Hmm, what a dumbo, that big wolf. As if he could fool me. Granny never calls me sugar. So, I said, Oh, Granny, what big eyes you have. And the wolf said, 
all the better to see you with, sugar. Hmm. And what big ears you have, Granny? I said. All the better to hear you with, honey. He said. you have granny i said <gasps> all the better to eat you with cried the wolf and he jumped out of the bed and tried to grab me <laughs> how mean is that Then, Mr. Woodman rushed in. He said, Aha! What's going on here? He's a big mean wolf, I said. He locked grannies in the wardrobe. And now, he wants to eat me. No way, said Mr. Woodman. He grabbed the wolf and kicked him out of the house. Don't you dare come back, said Mr. Woodman. And the wolf squeaked like a cheeky chick. <laughs> Ooh. Brave, Mr. Woodman. Penny was so pleased when I let her out. We all ate the cake and everything was okay. Granny said it was the best cake in the whole wide world. And she loved the flowers. Of course, she felt much better then. And nothing for the big man wolf. Not even a crumb. Serve him right. Okay, that's the end the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Okay, thank you for watching my video and thank you also for listening the bedtime story from me. So next time, I will choose another story for you. Hope you like and enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe my YouTube channel, Hanski Kids. Bye everybody, love you and good night.